Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we are going to take a look at and see what does your special person, your romantic interest, your crush, you want to tell you. So, what is it that they want to share with you? What is it that they want to tell you but aren't telling you? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and let's see what are they holding back from you. Okay, the King of Wands has just flown out. Let's come out in reverse here, guys. I feel like this card wants to come out as well. Okay. High Priestess. The Tower. What's going on with your person here? Okay, bottom of the deck is the eight of pentacles you need to wait okay i don't know if you have a question i don't know if you had a question in mind when i was doing this reading or i don't know if some of you have already been waiting for some sort of sign or synchronicity or if you're waiting for a message from this person or if you're waiting for contact I don't know what it is that you need to wait for, but I, I get the message that you need to wait. Maybe you need to wait and give this connection a little bit longer. Maybe you to, need to be more patient with them, with yourself. Maybe you need to wait it out. Maybe you need to wait and see if some of these synchronicities and symbols that you might be receiving, see if you can just wait and learn to interpret them. Okay, I, you know, each person is going through... Um, something very unique and very individual to them so you'll have to interpret that message of waiting as something that is you know unique and personalized to you so whatever it is that you need to wait for I feel like you need to keep waiting because something might be coming in it just might be taking a little bit longer now with your person's energy I do feel like there is a there is a special connection or attraction that the two of you share with one another and it feels very powerful but it just feels like it's not happening right now okay you've got the tower moment which feels like either your connection with this person is under the influence of a tower card here or your person or perhaps yourself is going through some sort of you know tower moment themselves it could be an inner turmoil and inner conflict and inner storm and maybe that's why you need to wait maybe you need to wait till the dust the dust sorry the dust settles on all of this you know chaos here there and that's a good way of actually describing this there is an emotional chaos in this energy of this reading here so I think something can happen for you here guys but maybe just not right now not yet for whatever reason the timing is just not quite appropriate or not quite relevant because you have the king of wands in reverse so upright he's bold he's daring he's courageous he's you know he's got the long-term vision right in reverse well you know we take that all away from him he's no longer bold and brave and daring he's timid he's insecure he's uncertain he's um, unsure here Okay, so your person is not ready to make a move or this connection here is not ready to happen just yet. Yes, they are attracted to you. Yes, they are romantically interested in you and in pursuing this connection. Yes, I feel like your person is crushing on you, but they're also maintaining their distance. Now, it could be because your person is not sure of... <sighs> whether you reciprocate or not okay whether you you know re respond positively to their advances or not it could be because your person just doesn't feel like they're ready to make a move just yet they want to build more of a connection before they go on ahead and ask you out or make any advancements towards you it just feels like someone here isn't ready to take any action now it could also be you okay maybe you want this so badly but wanting something and being ready for something are two very different things you might really be attracted to this person and you might really S sorry that was some loud sirens 
and you might be really eager and enthusiastic to you know to really get this thing going and you're probably just saying you know hurry up and quicken the pace but you might not be aware of the fact that you yourself might not be ready for this or this connection itself you know it's just not ready to manifest here so Maybe you just need to give this a little bit longer. Your person is attracted to you, okay? I do feel like your person is very, they feel very drawn towards you and they feel very drawn into your energy here. I don't know that they could be intimidated by you, especially with the presence of the high priestess, okay? They may also find it, find you a little bit difficult to read. Like, they're attracted and they're drawn to you, but they find themselves doubting or second-guessing this attraction. What if you aren't interested? What if you're not attracted to them? What if, you know, they're reading the signs or the signals all wrong? Um, what if you're not green lighting this? So you, I feel like your person is a little bit unsure. And that's the other thing that's making them a little bit insecure, a little bit iffy as to whether or not to approach you or whether or not to approach this situation. There's this, your person is very drawn towards this because you've got this um, energy of mystery that they find very alluring. The fact that they don't know... They find you very mysterious, they can't figure you out, they don't know a whole heap about you, but what they do know, they love so far, and I think that's what's keeping them really drawn and pulled into you, but at the same time, they can't read you, they can't quite figure you out, okay? They think that, yeah, you're attracted, or yeah, you know, you're interested, but then they're also second-guessing and thinking, well, what if it's all in their head? So, it's this mystery of a lure that's keeping them engaged but also keeping them at a distance your person also wants to tell you something right now now's not the timing that's that's the message that i'm picking up and that's why maybe they want you to wait for them okay maybe they just want you to be a little bit patient maybe they've recently experienced a breakdown of a connection or a relationship and they haven't really shared this with you maybe this is something that they're going through okay and the reason why they're not making any, um, they're not taking any action towards you is because they don't want you to be that emotional crutch on them for, for them to constantly lean on and they don't want this to be a rebound connection so they're also being mindful and respectful of you so you, you're going to have to and there are two sides to every coin to every pentacle right so you're going to have to take into consideration their point of view their perspective as well so it's not just your perspective and your perception of the situation it's theirs as well that you're going to have to take into account here um, I think, you know, you. I think your person is great at communicating. Okay, they're coming up as a bit of a natural wordsmith, a conversationalist. But I don't think that they want to talk right now. I don't think that they're ready to tell you what's really going on with them emotionally or mentally. Um, give it some time, and I think they will express themselves and what's you know and their vulnerability and what's really going on with them. And if they're acting a little bit distant lately, or if they're acting a little bit weird lately. It's not them. I mean, it is them, sorry. It's them. It's all them. It's not you. It's just that I see there's something going on with their energy here or something going on in their life that is infecting, affecting them not only internally but also externally. So don't push this. Don't rush this. Let it happen. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen right now, that's okay too. It's happening in perfect timing. And whenever that timing you know, is appropriate or is relevant, and that is the perfect timing. So just let everything happen naturally on and organically. They do want to come forward, okay? They do want a commitment with you, or they do want to, um, they, they want to give this a try, okay? A proper try. They want to give this a proper go. They want to get to know you here. Um, it just feels like not right now, though. Right now, they're not ready. And maybe if you were to rush into this, you potentially could ruin what otherwise could be a very healthy and wonderful and beautiful connection. So it's like your person wants to tell you so much, but I just think that they're really caught up in this, you know, this storm. Okay, they're really caught up in this inner storm or inner conflict that they're just, they're really in the head about things here. And I don't know that they're ready to come forward. They're ready to open themselves up to you. I don't know that they're ready to tell you what's really going on. Give this time and give this space. And if something is meant to be, I know it sounds cliche and some of you are probably, you know, um, I don't know, you're probably, you know, saying that it is quite cliche. But if something is 
meant to be, guys. You know, if two souls are truly destined for one another, it doesn't matter the circumstances. It doesn't matter that, you know, the circumstances right now don't allow or don't, you know, enable for this connection to manifest. It will happen. Two people will naturally gravitate towards one another. And just because it's not happening in your timeline, it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen at all. All you need to do is trust the process, okay? And in trusting the process, you know, your world is coming into alignment. And your connection with this person is coming into alignment. You might not see it just yet, but that's why you might need to wait. That's why you might need to give this and yourself a little bit more time, a little bit more patience here. Okay, guys, so I hope these have been helpful. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.